Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly. In my first video, I mentioned that I made a career transition to data science. So in this video, I would like to talk about my background, the process, and tips I would love to share. Actually, this video is converted from one of my blog posts that I posted in 2018. In that blog post, I talk about my background, how I became a data scientist, the process, my advice, and the resources I used for the career transition. If you would like to take a look, you can look at the link in the description of this video. Let's get started! A little bit about me. I obtained an undergraduate degree in economics from Wuhan University in China. I came to United States in 2014 because there was a program between Wuhan University and University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. So I came to United States through the program and I studied in Master of Science in Business Administration at UIEC. Originally, I was supposed to come to United States for one year just to study for this master degree and then go back to China to get another master degree from Wuhan University. But after I came to the United States, I changed my mind and I wanted to find a job here. One of my dad's college friends told me that if I want to find a job and stay in the United States, I should learn some technical skills so that it will be easier for me to land a job here. That's why I took a few classes like Enterprise Database Management, which is basically SQL and Data Science and Analytics, Predictive Analytics in R, and some other classes. After I graduated from UIUC, I found a job as a data analyst as a contractor at Google Shopping Express. And I worked there for about half a year and then because I was an international student and I need visa sponsorship, so I had to look for another job. So I joined a startup company right after the company founded and I was the seventh employee and I was the only data person on the team. And I worked at a startup company for about one year and a few months. And then I feel like I was not learning and growing as I expected. So I decided to quit my job and join a data science program so that I can learn more about data science and become a data scientist. After I quit my job, I joined the data science bootcamp in San Francisco. It's a three-month full-time program. I basically spent all my days studying and learning new things and working on projects. After the three months, I started looking for a job. Originally, I thought it's a piece of cake for me to land a data scientist job after the three months of study. But then it turned out to be very difficult for me because I didn't have a strong background in either computer science or statistics. So I needed to spend way more effort than my classmates to get a job. I spent seven months looking for a job after the bootcamp. And in the end, I had less than 600 bucks in my bank account, which made me not able to pay for next month's rent. But luckily, after 475 applications and talking to 50 companies, I got two data scientist offers. One of them is from my dream company, Airbnb, and all the efforts paid off. That's a little bit about me. Now let's talk about what advice I would like to give you if you want to become a data scientist. Tip number one, do your research and narrow down the scope of your job search. As you probably know, a title data scientist can mean a lot of things. And it can mean very different things if you compare the same data scientist job in financial industry versus a data scientist job at a tech company. So you should do your research and figure out what type of data scientist job that you are looking for. For example, I think I wasted a lot of my time in my job search because originally I didn't know what type of job I want and I just applied for every data scientist job, ranging from data analyst type of data scientist to machine learning engineer type of data scientist. You need to prepare a lot of things for their interviews and the time I spend on preparing all the topics from uh, SQL, case study, machine learning, and computer algorithms. The time you spend on preparing can be much less if you know what exact category of data scientist job that you are looking for. So how to do this? I would recommend you to look at some job descriptions and understand what projects they work on and what's the technical skills requirements or education background requirement. At least you have an idea of what kind of data science job you want and then you target specifically for that type of data science job in your job search. This will help you save a lot of time. Tip number two, have a growth mindset. It's very important to have a growth mindset if you are in the process of career transition. I remember at my data science bootcamp, before we took any real classes, the instructor showed us a video of growth mindset versus fixed mindset. People with growth mindset, they believe that their skills can be improved through learning and practice, 
They don't say that, oh, I'm not good at data science. Oh, I'm not good at coding. I'm not good at stats. They find out there's room for improvement. And if this is really what they want, they just work hard, they learn, and then they improve on it. The third tip, which is kind of cliche, but very important, is never give up. You will for sure fail many times in the process. Unless you know exactly what you are looking for and you prepare 100%. You will fail at interviewing. Sometimes you fail at resume screenings. Sometimes you fail at a simple question that you think you should have answered very well. Sometimes you just fail for reasons that you don't know. But don't let yourself get discouraged by those failures. What you need to do is you learn from each failure. You take notes of the interview questions that you failed. And you try to improve and try to become better at interviewing in the next time. The process will not be easy, but if you don't give up, you will get there. In this video, I shared three tips, but actually I have way more tips and all the resources I used in my data science interview in the blog post I linked below. Make sure to check it out if you are interested. Finally, I really want to share some thoughts that helped me in my career transition process and I believe will continue to help me in the path in front of me, which is there will be times that people tell you that you can't do something. They will say, oh, they're just lucky. Most people don't have the luck or we are not as smart as those people or do you know how hard it is to join XYZ company? Be realistic. But what I believe is if you know what you want to get, you just set your goal and you work hard for it. You don't settle for less. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. I'll see you next week.